One of the main causes of vertigo is BPPV. There are three different classifications for BPPV. Today we're going to be covering how to treat the most common type, which covers roughly 85% of people with this condition. I think it's first important to discuss how BPPV occurs so that we know how to appropriately treat this condition. BPPV occurs when a small crystal that already lives within our inner ear gets dislodged and starts to float within the fluid within our inner ear. This causes a disconnect between the inner ear and the brain, which then causes us to feel a little bit dizzy. I like to think of it as if you took a long boat ride and after you get off the boat ride, you still feel like you're riding those waves, man. For the treatment for BPPV, what we're going to be trying to do is take that crystal and get it completely out of the inner ear so that you can start feeling better as soon as possible. If you get value out of today's video, let me know by hitting that like and subscribe button. The first thing we're going to want to do is test to see which side we actually have the BPPV on. So I'm going to show you how to test for both the right and the left side, and then we'll show you how to treat it. To test for the right side, what we're going to want to do is sit in this long sitting position here with a pillow tucked just behind our back. Then we're going to turn our head to the 45 degrees to the direction that we're going to test. So our first one we're going to test here is the right, and then we're going to lay back quickly. Go ahead and lay back, 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 back. I would highly recommend that you do this with someone in your home so that you're safe throughout this entire test and maneuver. What we're looking for here is to see if the patient or if you have any signs of dizziness. If you do have any signs of dizziness, it indicates a positive test on the side that you're testing. Go ahead and come back up here. And then if you were wanted to test the other side because you didn't have any signs of dizziness, you would turn your head 45 degrees to the left and lay back down, holding each position for about 30 seconds. So the treatment aspect of what we're going to do is we're going to go back into that first position. So turn the head 45 degrees in the direction that you saw and felt the most dizziness, and we're going to lay back quickly. One, two, three, back, 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 back. We're going to hang out here for 30 seconds or until symptoms resolve. Then for position two, we're going to turn our head quickly to the opposite direction. So we're going to be looking 45 degrees in the opposite direction. And we're going to keep the head on the table or the mattress that you're performing this maneuver on. So you ready? One, two, three, turn. Good. Hang out in this position for about 30 seconds. The next position that we're going to be doing here is we're going to be rolling onto the side. But we're going to want the nose to be tucked into the table here while we're performing that. And we're going to roll slowly. Keep that head down. Try not to take that head off the table or the mat. And we're going to hang out in this position for about 30 seconds. And then for the last position here, we're going to slowly drop the legs off the edge of the table here, keeping that nose tucked in towards the chin here. And then we're going to slowly bring the whole body up. Good. And then once you feel comfortable, you can bring your head back to that midline position. You can perform this maneuver up to three times until the symptoms slowly start to dissolve. Let me know in the comments down below how you're feeling after this. As always, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.